What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. In today's episode, we're taking a look at that pest little starfish that magically arrives and shows up in your reef tank. And I have quite a bit going on in the 210 gallon reef right now. As you can see, I have some in my tank right now. And if you've been following me over on Instagram, you know that my wife already pulled out over 150 of these guys. She initially pulled out 71 of them. And then by the time I got home that evening, she had pulled out like 70 to 80 more. So over 150 or so of these little starfish. And I'm sure there's a lot more. So what is this tiny little starfish and how does it get into our reef tanks? Well, it's called an Asterina starfish, and there's a few different types. There's the Asterina gibbosa, Asterina phylactica, uh, Asterina stellifera, if I'm saying any of those right. Anyway, there's a couple different types of these tiny little starfish, and they can get into your reef tank by way of hitchhiking its way on a frag plug, um, on a coral, on a piece of live rock. Uh, it can get into your reef tank on just about anything that you get from your local fish store it can hitchhike its way and hide its way into your reef tank now once it gets into the tank it can multiply rather quickly asterina starfish split their bodies uh, they lose their legs on purpose and they grow into or those legs grow into an entirely new starfish it's known as fragmentation uh, that's how they reproduce one can become two, two can become four, six, and so on until you have an infestation of these starfish in your tank. And you may think these little tiny starfish, they shouldn't be a problem, right? They're really, really, really small. Well, they are a big problem because they can get onto your corals like zoanthids and completely engulf them and just start munching away at them. And pretty soon you'll be wondering, why am I losing zoanthids? And I kind of went through that myself. I had some zoanthid corals that were disappearing. I had uh, corals that were getting nipped on not only by my file fish, but they were just slowly disappearing by these starfish that just keep multiplying in my tank. So what's the solution? How do you get rid of these starfish? If you've been in the hobby for a while, you probably already know this, but if you're brand new to the hobby, the way that you eradicate these starfish from your tank is by getting a harlequin shrimp. Now, a harlequin shrimp is an awesome looking little pink shrimp that is just fun to watch. Uh, it's a unique little creature. He only eats starfish though, so that's the thing. He will do a great job at hunting down these little starfish, eating them and, get rid and getting rid of them for you, but once he's done, he has no more food left. He's been doing a great job at eating these starfish, but there's still a ton of starfish in my system. And I'm hoping that just this one Harlequin shrimp will be enough to eradicate them. I'm going to be saving some of these little starfish um, in their own little tank so I can keep feeding him until I figure out what to do with them once he does eradicate them. But these little starfish are more of a pest. If you see them in your reef tank, try to get them out as quick as possible. Harlequin shrimp, great way to hunt them down. Like I said, another good way to get rid of them is just by plucking them out of your reef tank. If they're uh, easy for you to get to, if you can reach them, pluck them out, put them in a bowl. Uh, you saw the picture on Instagram of 71 of these guys in there. There's some ugly ones in there too, some some big ones. I didn't even know they got as big as that guy. But take a look at that. If you haven't, go ahead and jump on the Coral Reef Talk Instagram and follow over there because that's where I do all of my updates. So if you want to be updated on what's going on in the tank as far as me pulling out starfish, if the Harlequin Shrimp is doing his job, if I'm getting something new, that's the fastest way to see what I'm doing. What's up guys? I just want to take the time to show off this awesome Coral Reef Talk face mask. Thank you so much to another Alonzo on Etsy for partnering with me to create this mask for all of you. So if you're a subscriber, if you're a fan of the Coral Reef Talk, 
if you like what I do and you want to support me and get an awesome face mask, head on over to Another Alonzo on Etsy. Pick up your face mask today. The link will be in the description below. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you learned something. And once again, don't forget to pick up your Coral Reef Talk face mask over at Another Alonzo on Etsy. Once again, the link will be in the description below. And if you want to pick up any of the other Coral Reef Talk merchandise, I'll leave the link to the Teespring shop in the description as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching the Coral Reef Talk. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new, please subscribe, click the bell, get notified, and I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.